After thinking about this for too long now, I finally threw together a simple fodder system. The bill of materials for this project included a used food container, a used one gallon water jug, a tiny fountain pump that I acquired from a yard sale, some spare tubing for my drip systems, an outlet timer, and a willingness to abuse hot glue. The end result is a flood and drain hydroponic system made from spare and recycled materials. Hopefully this will outperform my previous attempt, which you can see next to the new tray, in which I would spray the seed by hand whenever I pass by. Its growth after a week is not very promising. The seed I am using is buckwheat. Oats or barley may be a better option, but buckwheat is inexpensive and readily available at $1.80 a pound. In my rush to have this running, I skipped an important step with the seed and loaded the tray dry. It should have been soaked overnight before loading and had any floating debris removed. As for construction, two holes were cut into the plastic tray, a small fill hole about three quarters of the way up on one side, and a drain hole in the low of one corner. The drain line has a small weeping hole to allow the tray to slowly drain empty, and there are washes under the opposite corner to provide a small slope. The sizing of this hole was not trivial, as I wanted it large enough to allow all of the water to drain, and small enough to let the tray flood to the top of the drain tube when the pump is running. I opted for a flood and drain approach after trying to make a sprinkler to evenly wet the seed. There's no appreciable pressure from the tiny fountain pump, so I couldn't use drip system sprinklers. I had started drilling holes into eighth inch drip tubing, but that was too complex and unreliable for my liking. I still need to make a small screen to go over or around the drain to prevent seeds from spilling into the reservoir and once roots have begun growing, to keep the weep hole clear. I had tried to place the gallon jug on the floor at first, but the two and a half feet of head was too much for the little pump. The jug barely fit on the shelf of this table, but that was enough to get the water flowing. For now, I have set the timer for 15 minutes out of every hour. After the seeds are hydrated though, I may need to reduce the running time to allow them to dry between cycles. In the end, I hope to have a lump of sprouted buckwheat fodder to give our chickens. This should just be the start as I hope to have a larger multi-tray system that will supplement their feed with daily greens. But for now, at least something is growing. I will see you all next time with some results from this preliminary fodder system. Goodbye!